Kentucky Transportation Cabinet District 12 would like to remind everyone that during severe weather events, road crews will be dispatched to clean up the roadways. This includes debris, down power lines, and other hazards. If you spot cabinet workers cleaning up the roads, be mindful of them as they attempt to make them safe for motorists to travel. Our crews, are, we're already ready with our chainsaws, with our trucks. Um, our cru crews have been uh, prepared since last night, and they will be prepared throughout the weekend um, for whatever may come. You know, one thing I want to stress about um, down power lines is um, when it's just a tree, our crews, our crews can, can get out there and cut those. But when there is utilities involved, we can't get out there and cut those. Those have to be, uh, we have to call a utility company. We have to make sure that those don't have any live wires in them for the safety um, of our crews. Uh, so we want to keep, just like we want to keep you all safe, first and foremost, we want to make sure that we keep our crews and our employees safe as well so that they continue to help keep the roads safe for you all. So um, when those types of things are involved, it takes a little bit longer. So you may see on our feeds that we will say no estimate right now uh, due to utilities involved. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. The cabinet's current top priority is ensuring all roadways in the area are accessible and not full of debris. However, when clearing down power lines, they have to work together with utility crews. If there's debris in the road and stuff, be mindful of that. Sometimes in an effort to get the road open quickly, crews will come through, they will cut what they can and kind of move the debris to the edges of right of way just so that emergency vehicles and everyone in traffic can continue to keep flowing. Then we will come back when things have calmed down, it's a much better day, and we will get that debris and, and chip up those trees and things like that. So you may see debris on the sides of the roads and things uh, that we will come back to. We're not going to leave it. We will come back. But right now, in an event like this, our first priority is safety and getting those roads open quickly uh, for emergency situations and for our motorists and things. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.